So collapse in dogs is one of the most frustrating things we see in the emergency room, and collapse is unfortunately common. When we think about collapse, usually the reasons that can be something that's affecting one of the major body systems, so the heart, brain, or lungs, and so that there's not enough blood flow to an organ, typically to the brain, they feel weak with that. Um, and when we look at that, kind of the twofold I think about is the first is getting family members to bring their pet in as soon as possible. So if they're worried about collapse, they're not sure what's happening, they really just need to come in. There's nothing they can do at home that's going to make a difference. When they get to the hospital, the things we're looking for is it evidence that their heart rate is too fast, where they might be in shock, or is it too low, where they might need a pacemaker or need a drug to speed up their heart rate. Could they have gotten into a poison? That's thankfully quite rare, but it could be happening. Could they be bleeding internally? And unfortunately, with big breed dogs, that can happen, that they can have unknown tumors, typically of the liver or spleen, that start to bleed. And all of a sudden, they're just bleeding a lot internally, and we need to address that. We also see a disease called pericardial effusion, where there's fluid in the sac around the heart. And if that builds up enough, it keeps their heart from pumping blood, and they can collapse and accompanied with that. We can see dogs collapse from heat stroke. So when the first days of summer, when it starts to get warm, we see a lot of dogs that overexert themselves, and they can collapse from that. They can collapse from low blood pressure, um, low blood volume from other courses of bleeding, or failing to make other red blood cells. Sometimes they can collapse from electrolyte disturbances or low blood sugar. So there's a whole list of things to do. And so when I see them as an emergency doctor, we're checking always the major body systems, so the heart, brain, and lungs, see if there's an abnormality there, how do we correct that? And that may be fluids, that may be oxygen, it may be a blood transfusion, it might be removing fluid. And then obviously talking to the family about what the potential causes are and how we can potentially help those things. Um, so most of the cases respond well to therapy. We just have to figure out what we're dealing with and what maybe the long-term prognosis might be a little different.